Hi you guys, it's me Chris and welcome back to the doll studio. So I'm pretty sure by the title of this video you're probably very confused about this video in general. A couple of weeks back I did a video called The Problem with Yvette Peters and in that video I talked about the quality of Yvette and honestly I just have to keep saying it. Thank you so much for all the positive feedback on that video. It was definitely a very hard video to make because I wanted to make sure I didn't step on anyone's toes but I think I found the solution in regards to Yvette's hair. I I do want to make a couple of statements before we get started with how to take care of her hair because I do want to preface this video with a few little of course disclaimers and a few little conspiracy theories I have about this doll. So first I just wanted to address some of the comments that I received and I did also receive some DMs. So to this day I only ever recommend water in your American Girl doll's hair. I personally do not use anything for synthetic wigs, for human wigs, any wigs in general. I just don't put it in my doll's hair because as you play with your American Girl doll, that product can start to transfer onto clothes. Any product can transfer onto other dolls and their skin. You don't really know how it's going to react because the hair is laying on vinyl. It's not laying on top of human flesh. I know that American Girl doll hair is also made out of Kanekalon hair synthetic fiber, which a lot of people mentioned in my comments that it's the same fiber used in synthetic wigs. And I understand that people are very adventurous with their own dolls but unfortunately I've seen having worked at the American Girl doll hair salon what it is like when someone on YouTube goes and recommends a method of doing something in regards to recommending product in your American Girl doll's hair and then it ends up being really really bad for your American Girl doll aka the downy dunk method as we all know that is not a method that actually works so the last thing I want to do is for me to advertise a product and then all of a sudden everyone put it in their American American Girl Doll's hair and it end up going really sour so I just do not want to have that weight and pressure on top of me for that kind of stuff so I only ever recommend water for your American Girl Doll's hair and of course since the way that the hair is processed it should be able to go back to the way that it is nice and smooth and shiny just by using water and an American Girl Doll hairbrush or any other metal wire wig brush and of course there were some people that recommended different curling techniques I I know that I saw some people commenting to use the straw method and creating deep waves that way. I did try it beforehand and to be honest it doesn't really make the hair stick together so it really wasn't successful and I still would not recommend that method as well. On top of that I also did try again perm rods that didn't work and I did try the spiral perm rods and that did not work as well. And also with that video of course I received a comment here and there about the fact that people were upset that I was trying to comment on race which in reality is not what I was trying to do whatsoever if you guys read the disclaimers and actually watched the video you would know that I was just trying to say that American Girl did not test her hair enough to create this curl pattern and make sure that people are able to replicate the way that her hair comes when you open her from her box that's it and when you look at it from that perspective the topic of race isn't even in question because her book and all of that yes on paper that is what she is but the actual product design of her should have been thought out more all that mattered to me was that American Girl created a doll that could have her hair replicated upon play and that was it on top of that Monday through Friday I do work strictly with curly hair like I said in my last video I am diva certified and I am we dad certified which are two very big curly haired brands here in New York and this isn't just a class that I do. This isn't just something that I do for fun. Hair is quite literally my nine to five job Monday through Friday. So when I say that I have experience with curly hair, I truly have experience with curly hair in all all textures and all shapes and sizes of course thank you to everyone that respects my opinions and my advice when it comes to American Girl dolls and does not discredit my profession that I do so again thank you so much for all of the people that have listened to my advice so basically I recently received a text message from one of my American Girl doll collector friends and they said that the event that they received through the actual online store 
were that the Yvettes that come out from the warehouse now are very different from the ones in store that this person assumed that they definitely had changed the texture of Yvette's wig. So of course, me being Nancy Drew, I decided to see it for myself. So I ordered an American Girl doll Yvette online at AmericanGirl.com. She came and immediately I was surprised by the results that I got when I went in and did the method I'm going to show you guys on this doll on my Yvette that I received. Her hair was a lot softer. Her hair was able to spring up. It was actually listening to me and on top of that, it felt very, 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 very soft. So of course, I took the Yvette that I received here in this video and I took her home to my original Yvette that I got from the first week of release from when she first released. I compared the two wigs and I realized that they were very different in texture. I don't know when this switch happened, but from my personal experience, either A, there is a drastic quality control problem at American Girl right now and they have dolls with dry textures and soft textures or B American Girl actually fixed the problem with Yvette in regards to her hair pattern and they ended up rolling out this new softer version of her hair that people could have a better grasp with and so those are my two very big conspiracy theories on it of course American Girl is not going to advertise this change anywhere they're not gonna blankly say that they changed the texture of Yvette's wig because then a lot of people are going to go through the process like they did with the perma panties thing and they're going to end up doing what they did with the eye swaps that they did for free they're just going to inevitably have a huge 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 recall on these dolls which i'm pretty sure they don't want to deal with so of course they're just gonna slide this under the rug and just make this change without anyone noticing now i know for the maritza's they definitely have changed the formulation in her pants so that, that way it doesn't die onto the doll's legs so for me it doesn't seem that big of a jump for me to say that they definitely also went in and just got rid of the texture of Yvette's hair so that that way the curls are able to spring back in the way that a lot of collectors want her hair to spring back. So do what you will with that information. Let us get into the hair tools you will be needing. First and foremost, I do not recommend an American Girl hairbrush anywhere near this American Girl doll's hair. The bristles on the American Girl hairbrush are too close and they're just gonna inevitably spread out the hair a little too much and it's gonna create that frizziness and that deep, deep, deep separation that a lot of people do not want in regards to this doll's hair. So I just want to make this very clear that I have not seen anyone recommend this, nor have I seen American Girl even try this. So if you start seeing this tool around in American Girl salons or see other videos of people recommending this, they got this from me. I pride myself in actually having researched this doll's hair. So if you see anyone on YouTube after this video is done saying to use this tool, just know they got it from me not to be that person. Person. I did not put all this work into researching this doll's hair and going through multiple events for someone else to take credit for this solution and method that I have found. So this is my secret hair tool. It is a pick. That's it. Just a pick. However, it's all about the technique and the way you approach her hair that really makes this a standout tool in my kit, specifically for Yvette. This is not an American Girl hair pick. The hair picks from American Girl are too short and they don't allow you to actually glide through Yvette's hair. And you don't want to use a fine tooth comb because those comb pieces are really, really close to one another and they definitely are gonna pull at your doll's hair. A pick like this has enough separation between the comb that you are able to just glide through her hair and if you use enough water pieces will start to stick together and it'll create the pattern that she comes with when you get her out of the box. Yvette's hair has a lot of micro knots so right now I'm going to show you guys how to use this pick and how to go about styling and getting Yvette's curls back to a point that it looks nice and put together. So here is Miss Yvette. She is in a waterproof cape that I actually got custom made for me so that that way I prevent my doll's clothes getting wet and I prevent any chances of any shine marks on her body so that that way her skin is nice and clear and her clothes are nice and dry. So this is the cape that I use. I'm going to put her between my legs for sturdiness and I'm going to get started by sectioning out the first layer of her hair. You're just going to need a spray bottle with with some water, the hair pick that I mentioned before, and two clips to separate her hair into sections. 
Once you have sectioned out her hair at the bottom, you're going to want to go in and starting at the bottom of a section that you have split from her hair, you're going to want to go in, spray, and really drench the curl with water. You're going to start from the bottom with the pick and work your way up to the top. If you cannot successfully glide the pick all the way through Yvette's hair, then you have not succeeded in getting out all of the knots that are there. So you have to go in wet and just work with your section until the entire piece can successfully glide through her hair. And you're going to want to continue doing this up until you reach the top of her head, grabbing small little sections and working from the bottom all the way up to the top with a lot of water in her hair. And you're going to go in and pick at her hair. It's kind of like brushing the hair, but a pick allows for there to be gaps between the sections and the more water you use, the more hair is going to clump with one another and it's going to create those really nice defined curls for Yvette. It's going to definitely give her a more managed look. It's not going to make her hair look poofy and the more water you use, I always reference water as being like a hairspray for your American Girl dolls. It always tames a lot of the hair so you can never go overboard with water on your American Girl doll hair so definitely feel free to drench her hair as much as you possibly want and then once you're done with the bottom section you're just going to work your way all the way up to the top for any of the curly girls out there, I would consider this to be the rake method for American Girl dolls. I love the way that this makes Yvette's hair look. Definitely do this at your own discretion because you are breaking up her manufactured curls and this is giving her a new type of shape to her hair. It doesn't make her hair look big, if I'm being honest. I think that my Yvette only looks big and poofy is because of the fact that I actually laid her down so that all the water would fall off of the seat that she was placed on after I was finished and honestly if you want her hair to be a little bit bigger I recommend that but if she is really really damp definitely have her standing up and gravity will naturally pull all that water down and will make her hair not looked so big but if you want a little more volume at the bottoms I definitely recommend laying her flat on her back and gravity will definitely weigh her hair back and down towards the floor and it will make her hair look a lot bigger when you have her standing upside right. I don't know about you guys, but I can definitely already see a difference in how nice and defined her curls are. It looks really, really shiny and really, really pretty. And if you go in with the pick, you definitely are going ahead and defining her curls and making sure that none of the knots in her hair affect the texture of her hair. And that's what I personally like is that this is making sure that her hair stays smooth while still maintaining its natural curl. On the top layer, I will admit that I started to lose a little bit of water and I actually was getting very, very lazy. So I can tell that this top layer definitely isn't the best out of all of the layers of her hair that I did, but you guys get the pretty picture. I then just unraveled her from the cape that she was wearing. Like I said before, if you want a little more volume at the bottom of her hair, you can lay her down like I'm doing. If not, you can just have her standing upright, but of course her hair is drenched, so definitely have the cape but the next day this is what her hair looked like look how amazing and stunning her hair looks like all of her curls are nice and defined it is a little bit bigger obviously because you separated all of her curls but I highly recommend this format for doing Yvette's curls and I definitely think we can all agree that it makes her hair look so nice and defined so at your own discretion I definitely recommend this method and I hope you guys definitely try it out and tag me on Instagram if you guys end up trying this on your Yvette doll let me know how it goes for you and of course maintenance for this is very easy all you have to do is do the exact same thing if a curl for any reason gets snagged at all you have to do is go in with a pick wet it down and then from the bottom work your way up to the top with the little hair pick and get all the knots out and reform the shape and just wait for it to dry. I do not recommend using your fingers. You don't want to rub on your American Girl doll's hair because that will definitely expedite the dryness of her hair. Right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so sorry that the intro was very long, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. But I hope you guys try this on your Yvette doll. This is definitely a method that I can see myself doing in the future for my Yvette dolls if I were to ever get any more. So I hope that this definitely works for you. I will put a link in the description for the specific hair picks that I'm using. They come in three different sizes. Definitely purchase them. They are very, very easy to work with and they're very, very cute. All right, you guys. 
guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Chris. You guys can follow me on my Instagram, which is at the doll studio by Chris. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment down below and let me know if you guys are gonna try this on your Yvette doll. Until I see you guys next time, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.